Hey, what's up? Today I'm at Poverty Point, which is a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Yesterday I was at Spyro Mounds in Oklahoma, today in Louisiana, and this place is amazing because it is so old. Poverty Point is an earthworks complex and it was built and occupied between 1700 BC to 1100 BC. And this is like one of the first and oldest cities in North America. Last week I was at Colloquia and Colloquia was built and occupied in the late woodland area. So this is a long time before that, 2000 years before that, Poverty Point. Part of what makes Poverty Point so special is the fact that people who made their living through hunting and fishing and gathering wild foods built these earthworks. For many years, archeologists did not think hunter-gatherers could achieve such amazing accomplishment. Poverty Point includes a massive earthen complex with six mounds. Poverty Point was built roughly 3,500 years ago and remained unmatched in U.S. size and complexity for nearly 2,000 years. I'm at the Poverty Point trailhead here and I've opted to take the two and a half mile hiking trail to see all the sites around here. So let's get started. First thing we got here is an overlook. One of the cool things out here is that they do demonstrations. This is the, the atlatl demonstration area. Over there was a flint tapping demonstration area. I'm at stop five on the trailhead. And this looks like a wood hinge. It's the same kind of thing they have at Colloquia. Maybe it was a solar calendar. Maybe it was just a place for playing games. Right now I'm in the center of the enormous plaza. I have Poverty Point all to myself. I don't know if you can see the parking lot way over there, but my car is parked there by itself. I have this entire World Heritage site to myself. Not bad. They have these barrels around marking the spot where they believe they found all these post holes. So they believe big wooden stakes were in a circle here. I am glad that they've saved this place and so people can come visit it. But just like Colloquia, there's a road built right through the middle of it. It's a shame that we didn't realize earlier what we had here so we would have protected it before destroying parts of it. Right now I'm walking through the rings that were raised up, I don't know, five, six feet. They've been worn down by the thousands of years of erosion. What a place. It is hard to understand the magnitude of a site like this unless you visit it in person and walk it. You can look at a map and it looks like a city, but until you get into it and walk around, you don't know how big everything really is. Look at that mound. Second largest mound that still exists in North America. It existed for like 2,200 years before the next highest mound that we know of was built, which is at Colloquia outside of St. Louis, Missouri. I was there last week editing a video about that right now. And I thought I would come out here and visit this place so I can get some more context. Yesterday I was in Oklahoma at the Spyro Mounds and I was visiting that place to see another Native American mound of the Mississippian culture. This one is way before the Mississippian culture though, even existed. This is the late archaic period. We're talking about 1600 BC, 2200 years before Colloquia where the Mississippian culture even existed. 
These are hunter-gatherers who built a city this large. Amazing. They have a tram that can take you around here. I chose to walk. Here's one of the tram stops though and the pathway to Mound A. Check out how large this mound is. Incredible, right? Let's get to the top of it. I am standing at the base of Mound A at Poverty Point. It's one of the biggest aboriginal earthworks in North America and the largest built by hunter fisher gatherers. It consists of nearly 312,000 cubic yards of earth. That's about 390,000 tons of soil. And that would have been carried in baskets, possibly 50 pounds each. The people here had to carry 15.5 million loads to construct this giant mound. Radiocarbon dates on organic materials from underneath the mound indicate it was built somewhere between 1400 BC. Mound Day is believed to be the last Poverty Point Age mound construction at the site. I'm out here at the base of Mound A at Poverty Point, about to take a walk up to the top. Right now I'm standing on top of a large earthen mound in an ancient city built in the late archaic period. That's like 1600 BC. This is Poverty Point in Louisiana. That's right. There was a huge civilization in North America in the late archaic period. Poverty Point. 